Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can join the fam. We would appreciate it. You're gonna love it here. As you know, by clicking on this video, you know that we are back at it again with another makeup review. So this one I'm extremely excited about. As soon as I saw it, I was super excited to grab it because it is beautiful. So today we're doing the Morphe Fierce Fairy Tale. This is Nyan. I, I feel like that's how we say her name, it's Nyan. But I see this girl all over the place. She's so beautiful and her makeup is just crazy. And she does always look like, what is it? Like whimsical, very fairy tale like So I feel like this is the very appropriate name. The packaging is just beautiful. So we're gonna dive into this palette and give it a good review. Hopefully it's a great palette because as you guys know, I love Morphe products and Morphe cosmetics, but sometimes they just kind of fall flat, but we're gonna give this one the benefit of the doubt. This one, they're gonna do the girl justice and it's just gonna be a great palette. Along with this palette, we did pick up a few more items from the collection. I did go ahead and get the, the six piece color pencil set. I'm not really sure what we do with these color pencils. I'm just gonna have to figure it out, I guess. So I'm confused, like are these like eyeliner pencils or lip pencils because I did have like a bunch of lips with, like a bunch of lippies with it. The lippies never look good on me, so it's been like rare. Like I have like one or two that I actually like, but the other ones are just like, no. So I didn't pick up the lippies, but I do feel like I probably should have used the lipstick because now that I'm looking on the shades, it does look like the colors of the lipstick, but whatever. So we got these, we got the palette, and then of course we had to pick up the brushes. So this is the six piece eyeshadow brush set with the little bag, how cute. And these brushes, they come in all sorts of different colors. So how cute is this? I'm super excited to try this out. So if you're interested in watching me review this collection, please continue to watch. So these are the brushes out of the packaging. How cute are these? I just realized yet again, we could not change the background because we're using the green screen again and just a brush right here is green. So we can't actually change the green screen. So we're just gonna do this green thing back here. Hopefully that's okay with you. Hopefully it's not too loud. So this is what the palette looks like out of the packaging, out of the box. So cute, it looks just like the box. Very cute, very cute. It opens like a book, I love that. So inside, this is what the color story looks like. And it's so cute. It has like this little personalized message in here. It says enchanted and unapologetic. The fairy tale starts with you, whether you're dreaming gorgeous gangsta golds or baby bear blues. These fantastical shades are ready to save the day with a bright burst of color. So stop staring and strike a pose. Find your happily ever after in every bold swatch and swipe. XOXO, Nyan. That's so cute. That's so cute. I like how she said gorgeous gangsta golds. How did you know? How does she know? I like how they're like separated by like, like aesthetics, like these colors all go together, these colors all go together. I love that. So I feel like we have to use this one because it's weird, right? We have to use that shade. So let's swatch that one. We're not gonna swatch the whole palette because it's way too big, but that shade, that shade is very pretty. I feel like that's gonna have to be an inner corner highlight though. It's not powerful enough to stand on its own, but I do believe we are going to try to recreate her looks. So this one right here, we're gonna recreate that one. That is so cute right there, that orange. We're gonna try to recreate that look and then let's see if we can, I feel like I don't have the liner, the blue liner to be able to do the blue one. So we'll just do something different on the other side. But let's go ahead and try to recreate this orange look because I feel like that is so, so cute. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our brushes and dive right in. The only thing that is turning me off of this palette thus far is that there is no mirror. You guys know I love to have a mirror in a palette, but look how beautiful it is. I mean, we can't even be mad at it. Like where would the mirror even go? It's fine, it's fine. So the first shade we're gonna dive into in recreating this look, we're gonna go into this yellow right here. This one's called Boo and B. I'm gonna take a little yellow brush, our new one. And this is a FF3 brush. So this color is definitely giving pigments. I am having to kind of build up on it though, like having to keep dipping in, but so far so good. Okay, so we're gonna mix M and Jen and the Juice Baby Girl. This one is actually one of those ones that has like that slight shimmer in there. It's like a matte with like a little bit of glitter. Y'all know I love these shades. I'm not 100% a fan of that brush, so we're gonna switch. This is the Gold Getter by Sugar Rush. Um, yeah, so we're gonna dive into these two together, the yellow. So we're gonna continue to blend that in. I 
Okay, so now on that first brush, the uh, Morgan one, we're gonna take this chai latte, please. We're gonna blend that into the crease as well, just to make sure that we get a good blend with both shades. Good blend with lots of pigments. So we're gonna bring that up in here. Now, so far the pigment on this is ridiculous. It is so good. So I'm gonna go ahead, because it looks like she has like a cut crease. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my crease on this side, then we'll move on. Okay, so now that our crease is cut, I was looking at the picture and it does look like she deepened it up on the outer corner, so we probably will get a chance to use this baby bear shade, which I'm pretty excited about. And then for the lid shade, we are gonna go into Boo and B again. This is one of the Nyan brushes, the FF1. So this is one of those Morphe brushes that I love, like the flat shadow brushes that do so well. I'm so welcome to the collection, girl. Welcome. Because she's cute. And if she performs like the rush, she's going to be amazing. This yellow is kind of given patchy for some reason. Like this is the same base that I used earlier, so I'm confused about why it looks like that. Um, we're not gonna dwell too much on that though, because when we blended it, it looked fine. So now it's just looking weird. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the Juice Baby Girl again, that deep orange. And we're gonna go into Baby Bear now. That was that brown. Okay, so so far that's looking pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and add some liner and a lash. Okay, so now that we've added lashes, let's go ahead and do the underneath. So we're gonna go into the Baby Bear first and then we're gonna follow up with M and Jen so that we can finish out the way that she created this look right here. So I'm gonna go into Baby Bear first and this is the FF5 brush from the collection. Okay, so that side is looking really good. I really like the way that it came out. We tried to recreate her look. I think we did a good job with what we had. We did a really good job. I think that her eyes might be a little bit bigger than mine though because she had her like liner come all the way down and I don't really have room for that. So I think it looked pretty cute. It looks pretty cute. Pretty much saying cute. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for an inner corner highlight on this side, we are going to go into this one right here, Shape Shifter. This is like a gold. It's super pretty. Just because I want to have an inner corner highlight on this side because I know we're going to do one on the other side so that we can use that weird shade. So yes, yeah, so far so good with the palette. So this side came out really good. I'm super excited about what's in store for the other side because you know, there's a green or a blue in the palette, we're gonna use it. But this time we have both, so I'm kind of confused. Should we use both? I'm thinking that we were going to go into this one called like, I'm guessing this is like YouTube and Impona. I don't I don't really know what's going on with the names. I'm just like, what is what is this girl? Um, yeah, so we're gonna try to go into these two and part probably Bar de la, de la Duck. I'm just, I'm butchering these names. I really am. I'm having a hard time. We're gonna go into this shade first. Um, or wait, are we? Are we going into that shade first? You know what, we're gonna go into Chai Latte please first. And we are going to use this um, Gold Getter by Sugar Rush. We're gonna use that as the blending brush while we do the, um, the crease. So Chai Latte please is going on first. We've already seen this one, so not much to talk about. We like it. She's a good transition shade. We use her for what she can do. Okay. So now we are going to go into this one right here, the YouTube, YouTube, HY2. I don't know where she was going with these names. I really don't. I'm having a hard time. Okay, so we're going to put that shade into the crease. I love a good green eyeshadow. I'm actually really loving this green. It's high, very, very good on the pigment. Not much fallout. 
it's going on it's doing a great job so i think i like it okay okay well, now we're gonna try to blend in that blue i feel like this is where it's gonna get a little tricky but we're gonna do it anyway i'm so glad that she included one of these in her uh collection this is a ff6 press it's a very very small blender so i was literally just thinking like how am i gonna get the blue on there we gonna use that brush that's how so we're gonna go into this one right here so pretty such a deep dark like bluish purple it's beautiful so this one's kind of dusty i'm assuming that we're gonna have some fallout if i look up close That is pretty. Oh my gosh, beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the crease on this side and then we'll move on to a lid shade. Okay, so now that the crease is cut on this side, I'm gonna try to use this FF4 brush. I really don't like these kind of shadow brushes because they're way too fluffy in my opinion, but we're gonna try to use it anyway just to kind of see if it'll work. If not, we'll just pick up a different brush and handle it. So we're gonna try it out first. We're gonna go into this shade. Hmm, because I really wanna use this as an inner corner highlight, but which color would make it make sense? I think we're gonna go into this one, Bunch. Bunch. Oh, I already know this is not gonna work. I already know. Oh, wait, wait, maybe it... Maybe it is gonna work. I didn't even give it a chance, let's see. Maybe this is why that yellow came out so patchy because I needed to use this brush instead of the other one. This is actually looking pretty good. Hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into that green and blend out that outer corner. I thought this side was cute. I love this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some liner. I'm gonna go ahead and add some liner and a lash and then we'll go ahead and finish off this eye look. I love this side, so cute. The blue and the green, it mixed together so well and the shimmer, what a great choice. Hands down, was a great choice. So we're gonna kind of finish off this eye look with, you know, some underneath the eye business. So we're going to, we're gonna go ahead and take this, um, whatever it is, we're gonna take the blue, we'll go ahead and bring that underneath here. Just like we do with the other side. I'm scared to add the green because that might be too much. So I think we're just gonna leave it with the blue and I think that that looks pretty good. So, so far so good with the palette. Love the palette, love the brushes. The green brush it definitely surprised me. I didn't think it was gonna do what I needed, but it definitely did. So let's go ahead and move on to these pencils. So the color pencils, I feel like they are like lip pencils and maybe eye pencils, I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out, but today we're gonna play it safe and do like a brown um, on the lips. Right now I just have on some lip gloss. So I'm just gonna overlay my lips a little bit. And I can definitely see how these will be used as like an eye pencil because they're just gliding on so softly. I definitely feel like we're gonna have to use this palette again to get more creative eye looks so that we can use all the shades that we want to see. Wait a second. We did not use that weird shade. Let me use it now before I forget. So we're going to go into that violet flame. I don't even know if it necessarily makes sense on this side anymore, but we're going to use it anyway. I sure did use it as a highlight too. Who going to tell me what to do with myself? Who going to check me? Nobody. <laughs> so... I do think that this palette is definitely worth having. I'm gonna have to put the price down here for everything because I totally forgot how much a palette was, how much the you know the color pencils were, and definitely how much the brushes were because I always forget how much I pay for everything. I did pick this up off of the Morphe website. I don't know if they have it inside of Ulta. I didn't go in, but I saw this online on Morphe and I went and got it as soon as I could. So got it with the rush shipping. I don't know what took me so long to film, but 
we here now and we love it. So if you have not already, make sure that you are subscribed with your bell notifications on. We are going to do our giveaway on Friday. So if you are not already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe now, like this video, keep your bell notifications on because we will have our giveaway on Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching and you will see my face in the next video.